they came this way while I dealt with the general. All right, welcome to part Let's eight, see, the last that. video of my it's thief playthrough. I'm not alone. This will be chapter eight, the dawn's light. And right away, we have to get past a couple freaks in the beginning area. Um, I recommend just doing what I do and using the spam slow movement button technique and just to bypass them. Here the tip I have is this freak up here, he'll crouch down and you want to bypass him, making sure to hug the corner. The reason I recommend you do that, um, even if you want to be safe about it, is because the next part of his patrol is actually to continue in this direction towards the door. So if you want to be slow and take it safe, it, in my opinion, it takes too long to wait for him. So I recommend just bypassing him earlier. So now that we're through the door, we just have to bypass three guards and another two guards on the second floor. And then we'll be into the area right before the ship. So for this area, there's actually two methods of two methods of um, going through this area. The first one is the pipes, and then the other one is the other direct route. Um, I like taking the pipes just because I find the way I do is reliable and consistent enough every time I do it. I haven't been able to find a consistent, reliable method taking the other way, so. That's why I just usually take this way. So as you can see this glass on the ground, if you hug the left wall, you don't have to slow um, slow move across it. Um, and here you want to wait till this guard in front of me um, turns around and continues on his patrol. Then you want to move a little bit, not too much or the guard will still spot you. Once he passes by, you can continue forward and swoop safely without worrying about being spotted. So once you pass this door, there's two guards to the left. Just ignore them and take the hole right here. And then hop down. So to the left is the NPC. He's the last NPC you'll see that buys and sells stuff before the end of the game. So if you have any last minute um, things you want to buy, now's the time to do it before you get on the ship. So once you get on the ship, um, there's two ways of getting on the ship. One is the way I show. And then the other method is around and going up and using a rope arrow. I think the rope arrow route is actually faster if you're able to do it perfectly. But I take this way because the other method does require a rope arrow and also requires you bypassing two guards. And I think it doesn't um, save the time difference isn't that much. At least I don't think so. So for here, what you're supposed to do is peek through this door to make sure the guard walks by. But I was a little bit hasty and I accidentally sprinted too long and so he heard it. So that's why you can see him coming into this area being suspicious. So in case that happens, just do what I do is just um, stay in the shadows and just wait till he goes back on his patrol. So what you want to do is follow him and you want to use this vent right in front of me. That skips a big um, big amount of guards. So now sometimes, it happened to me a couple of times, it, once you go through this gate you actually get stuck and you don't fall down, fall down this vent. In case that ever happens, just turn around and go out the vent and just come back in and that should fix it. So once you get past, you can sprint and you shouldn't be spotted. You want to climb up this area on top of the elevator that goes into the next area. And then this next area is pretty much the last area. Well, what I consider the last um, risky area. Now, or this, this area is actually the last area with guards also. So here you want to quickly go to the right and follow this guard. Um, you want to wait till he walks back because you want to go through the door on the left. And once he passes by, quickly um, lock pick it. You want to do this quickly enough before he comes back. 
And just to be safe, um, once I lockpick the door and leave, I actually close the door just because I want to be safe because in case he walks by, he might spot you. Now here you want to use the last rope arrow to on that spot. And here you want to be safe and watch the guards here to make sure they're not looking in your direction, especially the one to the left right there. You want to wait till he turns around and leaves because if you hop onto the rope, he can still spot you. So you want to just be safe about it and just wait till he continues on his patrol. So by using this rope arrow method, you bypass a lot of guards and you pretty much and then you pretty much go into this last area where you see Aaron. So here we want to reach the back of the ship. Um, here you can just sprint towards her. There's frozen guards here. They won't do anything to you, so just sprint past them. Um, I consider this chapter actually one of the easier chapters to do. It wasn't as, it's definitely not as hard as chapter 7. Now here, in this part, you want to catch Aaron from behind. Um, if you make too much noise when you get close to her, she'll also change areas. So for here, you want to, once you get closer, just stay crouched and um, get to her as soon as you can. Otherwise, she just keeps teleporting everywhere. So once you get get to her, you automatically be teleported back to this door. And as you can see, Aaron turns all the guards into freaks. But freaks aren't really anything to worry about. You just walk past them slowly, as you've seen me do um, in the previous videos. So for this area, you just have to bypass um, four freaks. This is the second one. And then the only risky one is the one coming up, this third one, which he's just hangs out next to the door. So what you want to do is just slowly just crouch and hold that slow movement button to get past him. And once you do him, there's only one more freak you have to worry about. If you want to be safe, you can just wait till he walks all the way to the other end of the room and just go through the door. But once you get past him, um, that's pretty much it. All you have to do is just finish the last quote unquote boss battle. I don't really consider it a boss battle because you're not really fighting Aaron. You're just picking up stones and just avoiding her attack. So for my method right away you want to hop to the left and up the stairs to the second level and hide behind that box and quickly grab the first stone and then run back into the shadow areas. So the next stone is the one the next stone I want to get is the one on the second level also, which is on the opposite side. Um, what I do is just go up this area, trigger Aaron to do her attack here, and wait for her other attack to end also. And then I want to hide in this shadowy corner here, and once she's done with that, grab the second stone. So to be safe about it, um, I would recommend you run back towards the beginning area and then to grab the last stone like I'm doing here, which is to hop down here and quickly hide in the shadows and then quickly grab the last stone. Once you grab the last stone, that's it. Um, you pretty much beat in the game unless you do something foolish like fall off or something to get yourself killed. Because the last thing you have to do is just get to Aaron, um, but you're pretty much done with the game, and that pretty that brings the end to my thief playthrough. Once we talk to Aaron, so I hope you enjoyed my video series of Thief. Um, hope some of my tips I gave out was helpful, and um, I think my playthrough, final playthrough time came to around three hours what's what it's listed on my save file but i think the actual runtime was about um whatever this playlist total time is um once you have to restart i think that still counts as your play time so and there's about an hour of footage where i make mistakes and how to restart 
But anyways, as you can see, here's the results. Um, it's majority ghost with a little bit opportunist. And this is the end of the game. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next playthrough.